Okay, so let's see. So with that, try the dragon out maybe? That spell will affect no one. Okay, unslowable. Immune to level spell levels one through three. We also don't have any level fours. Um. <laughs> yes, it seems like it might be a bad, that might be a bad plan. Um, I, I also don't think we're ready for this fight. How many hit points do you have? 180? What's your... Damage has 40 to 50. So you kill anything if you get in range. This is a second level spell, so we can enfeeble you. Clone is our only fourth level spell. What does Bloodlust do? Hand-to-hand -hand attack. Curse is level one. All right, I think all we can do is bless. So we can't get away from you for another turn here. Oh, stone skin? Would stone skin save us here? Hold on. That seems insane to me. Well, we can't get away, so I might as well. There's some good hits there. Wow, we do survive. Can't run away from you, but taking a I think we need to we do need to move because we need to sit in defense, really. Okay. So Okay, well, if it does that, we just die. Um, so here's the thing. It, whoever we whoever we defend with... So whoever we defend with, it's going to run to the other one. So... You have 88 hit points? I mean, we could just literally defend on both of them. And then just let it do it this way. This looks like it is working. As long as stone skin doesn't run out. We have 10 turns of it. But if it gets more a morale, I do think that it kills us. Fifty-three. It just hit our tent. So you're at full thirty. You're at full thirty. It's at forty-three. Um, but it's attacking the tent now. This is awkward. Now, did you know that that morale was going to pop there, or no? Okay, so that was an in... Nope, the chess piece is new. Attack and defense by four versus spell power by four. I'm not sure which one of those we want to use, but... Okay, I need to go get some mana. I don't think there was a way to do that faster with Town Portal. Okay, Pegasi, what's your deal? Well, that's not great. 
Okay, so since she's going first... Okay, hold on. Since she's going first, we should we should split to the far sides so that they can't do that. Then we slow. And then... Ooh, big hit. All right. Let's see. So we just we just want to blind one of them. And then since we blind it up there, we'll focus over here. Okay, we're going to be we're going to be taking a little bit of heat. Okay, so let's see. So, Tent, how you doing? Not great. Hey, Mr. Scrake. Welcome on in. Let's see. So... Tent, tent has seen better days, but we'll we'll do it this way. Okay, tent, tent, you're okay. All right, that gets you. Now let's move into the corner here. Get a little clone action going. And then I think we, we have the tempo to chill here for a second. How are you doing? 84. Tons of... Tons of headroom. All right. We'll get this one because it's not... It's not any concern. And then once we finish this one... We got our bless queued up. Ooh. Spicy hit there. All right, done and done. Where to now? Ooh, Where, did we kill the gold golems? Do I remember that? I think we've cleared everything on the map. Yeah, we've cleared everything on the map that we've seen. There's nothing left. Uh, we might want to get some mana though before we go through here. Yeah. All right. What could possibly go wrong with iron golems? Oh, we just win? Well, that doesn't seem very fair. I don't know that we even need blinds on this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little more aggro. Can't blind them anyways. Well, then my plan is perfect. Let me check it out. What what am I looking at there? 
uh, Mr. Scrake. Teabagging flagellant. <laughs> Lovely. They break my tent. Losing that clone was slightly annoying. How much are you on your last one? Two. No, you have two left. Imagine a worse uh, outcome than auto combat. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. If we lose the tenth, though, that's gonna be that's gonna be spicy. Now the the other thing that I don't understand is so the auto combat doesn't use the auto combat doesn't use spells, right? It's it's a no mana outcome. Is that true? Auto combat. So auto combat managed to win this fight with no mana, with no losses. How? But how? <laughs> Please tell me there's a mana well somewhere over here. Uh, Buckler of the Knoll King. Hold on. We're still using that. So there must be a new shield floating somewhere around here. Um, but I need mana? Mana spring right there. This is a fountain of fortune. I don't see a mana spring. Oh, well, yeah, there's a mana spring behind the harpies. Thanks for the help. So I guess I have to loop back. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for pointing to a thing that I could not access without doing a battle. That was... That was helpful. So the problem is, is they're going to be in range to attack us very quickly here. So I think let's weakness them. Because the thing is, they're not going to interrupt our ability to attack. So... So we'll just we're just gonna tank their their slight oh they're still gonna stand next to us. What the heck? Game? I've been lied to. So they still stand next to me. It's pretty annoying. I thought they specifically wouldn't do that.
was that the amazing thing? They can choose not to fly back, which is not something that we can do, right? Like, I think I've had harpies, and I don't believe that I had the option to not fly back. You too can do this. I see. Also, Olive is Olive has a new move that is like the worst. Um <laughs> where she will she she used to bark to come in, or she's very good about barking to come in when she wants to, but she's learned that she can bark and then try and lure me out and then not come in, which I'm not a fan of. I think this time she actually wants to come in though. Okay, let me go let me go grab her. Be right back. She is still in full gremlin mode. All right, but we have we have a boatload of mana, and we have a bunch of boars, a bunch of ice elementals, a bunch of dragonflies. The spell from behind the genies. We did... Oh, these are master genies, which is slightly different. Let's see what the quest guard here is. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that, because... We lost our tent. No, these guys aren't ranged attackers, right? Wait, excuse me? Can I, I not slow them anymore? I am so confused as to what is actually even going on. Um, they're casting like 40,000 spells. <laughs> what the what? Like they don't seem like they're doing much, but they're they're buffing their their butts off. They were slowed? Okay. That that was I slowed them again because it it did not show any visual indication of that. All right. Force field. Tell me more about this field of force. Place a three hex force field on the battlefield at a point specified by the caster for two rounds. Movement through these hexes is blocked. Ooh, okay, that seems very cool. Uh, okay, let me try the dog again. Sorry, be right back.
Okay, back at it. Ten combats away from the end. Sweet, sweet reprieve. Let's... Let's grab this, and then let's go check out the boars. This... Why does this fight seem like a joke? Compared to all the fights that we have done. Okay, plus one attack skill. Ooh, I forgot to take the fairy forest thing. Okay, ice elementals. So all of a sudden my auto combats are just winning, which is like interesting. Okay, elemental shoots immune to ice, vulnerable to fire, inferno, Armageddon, plus 100 damage to fire. Cast protection from water. Okay, uh, forgetfulness. This fact, oh, is forgetfulness an ice spell? Is that what that means? Water spell? Let's see, then maybe stone skin first. Elementals are immune to mind spells. Silly me. Why are some of them shooting and some of them walking? Is this a... Uh... Let's see, We've got clone. We might just want to bless. So I think, what do you have left? 22 health left? All right, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do it all in one then. I thought about casting air shield. Do you get there? Yeah, you get there, all right. I guess it's nice of them to only target my witch, but... Oh, we can't blind either, okay. They're as bad at melee as we are. The dream! Oh, the, their, their melee attack, though, looks pretty cool. I will give them that. I kind of feel like if they spread their damage, they would have had, like, some hope of, of defeating us. But they just, they just let us, uh, let our Sea Witch tank. Community called them fishes, apparently the, uh, the unupgraded ones. Hmm. By the way, Lusher, so at this point in the camp, in this, in this scenario when you did it, were you, you were still rocking the Crusader? Okay, so this is when, uh, increases combat speed of your units by one. That might come in handy, but I think for now we stick with what we've got. Plus one morale, next battle. Okay, so we're gonna do...
We're going to do all that before we go into this battle. I switched the Crusader after the Vampire Portal fight. I see. Okay, are we exactly one unit slower than them? So if we had taken the ring, we'd be fine here? Is that what I'm supposed to understand? Our speed is 6. Their speed is 13. No, no, it's... No, their speed is 13. So definitely not. Um, probably weakness then? This is going to be a little agonizing, I think. Our speed is 12. Oh, like our hero's speed? Wait, our hero doesn't have a speed. It's our fastest unit, right? Our speed is 11 and 11. Let's see. So we will... Okay, they've got some type of zappy thing that they're doing sometimes. It was 12 on the other terrain. So let's see, you're at 30, you're at 24. Okay, so let's see, so let's... We may still we may still win this one, but it's like I'm I'm worried we're gonna lose some. Well, let's see if I do. How about if I do slow now and run away? It may be too late for our. Uh... Oh, actually, they're they're not hitting that hard. Eight, 20 over here. So definitely. Do they still have weakness? They do still have weakness. And we still have. Wait. Has my stone skin run out? Looks like it has. Oh, so curse. I forgot all about curse. Good call. Fourteen HP. It is amazing how much mitigation you get from those types of things. Oh, they dispel buffs. Do they dispel debuffs or buffs? So now we got the Shield of Naval Glory, which this is plus four to defense. This is plus seven to defense. Wow. Okay. All right. So now we'll run back over here. Now we can turn in. We can turn in that. Oh, cute. These dragons are having a date here. Shame they don't really like attention. I was told there were no more ambushes. <laughs> so can they not be slown? S slowed? Slowed? Yeah, they cannot be slowed. They cannot be blinded. Oh yeah, because the spells are too low level. Um, they fly, so presumably the barrier is not going to do any good. Well, hold on a second. Hold on, I have an idea. Oh. 
I have an idea. Make the, the buttons make sense. Um, all right, well, let's, let's get all the goodies before we go into this. I think maybe with a force field, there's... So, okay, so if I stand you here and you here, I can only force field one of you. So let's see, you're at 180, you're at 180, all right, so let's... Oh, they went, they went first in the next turn? All right. Oh my gosh, why do I keep clicking the wrong button? I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. Okay, have I visited, visited, not visited? Okay, so let's try this again. You're gonna stand here. You're going to stand here. Okay, so now you... You need to, like, move to here. And then I can't cast another fireball. And then I can't cast another force field. Okay. Wait, oh, can I cast force field on the units? I thought my units had to be behind the units. So are you saying if I do this, I can actually cast the force field? No. I don't see a place I can fit two of them. Cause yeah, it can't go over them. Oh, the dragons are size 2? Does that have anything to do with it? Like, if we put it here, maybe they can't get to us. So if we do this, maybe they're... they can't get to us. They certainly are communicating that they cannot get to us. Next turn, we're going to need to reforce field, I think. We're definitely going to lose our tent. Okay, so the force field... Go the force the way the force field behaves is pretty uncool. Um, the way that it just disappears there at the end of turn two, leaves you in the lurch, uh, is not the best. Maybe if we had the Ring of Speed on, we would get the first action. So this turn, I need to recast it? Well, I can't recast it. So... I certainly can't handle that. Um, they also have 11 speed. So, okay. So, if we use the ring, we get we get to recast the shield. All right. All right. Combat speed plus one is going to take the place of luck and morale or attack and defense. This this fight does not need attack and defense, so we'll do that. Okay.
Yep, now we are faster. So we can replace the shield. Now, I'm skeptical of if it's possible to beat this fight without losing the tent, but... Almost messed that up. All right, expert archery it is. And then... Unless we didn't have the tent. Got it. All right, spell, town portal, here. I would like to buy one tent, thank you. And then, uh, best, I think we town portal up to this one to, to get back to where we were before. We can pick up some goodies along the way too. Okay, give me all the things. What was this? Uh, oh, Garden of... We'll gain a little bit of that. Oh, really? Well, this looks like the same thing as last time, presumably. Didn't visit the hut behind the ambush. Oops. Oh. Oh, they still go first. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll go back for the hut behind the ambush. Because that could be important. I will acknowledge. Our monk becomes a zealot. That does seem important. Now, is the Zealot faster by any chance? Speed 13. What a convenient breakpoint that will probably have no implications on the remainder of our run. 